The Bachelor of Engineering Electrical and Electronic Systems program is a level 7 program which has been accredited by Engineers Ireland as meeting the educational requirements for the title of Associate Engineer. As part of that requirement of Associate Engineer, Engineer Ireland specifies seven program outcomes, one of which is to do with the area of communications. So they say that a graduate has to have the ability to communicate effectively with the engineering community and with society at large. And they list a number of things here, four items here which they expect a graduate uh, to be able to accomplish having completed the Level 7 program at Dundalk Institute of Technology. First one is the ability to select and apply appropriate communication tools. So whether it's a, a report, a written report, whether it's a PowerPoint presentation, whether it's a demonstration, or whether it's a, a, an interview process, uh, the graduate is expected to choose and use those tools uh, in appropriate fashion. Ability to describe successfully the relevant advantages and disadvantages. So really here we're talking about something like the conclusions we usually do when we finish a report and comparison of uh, uh, our target our, our problem solve the problem which we're trying to solve and our uh, results at the end of it and here we have number three the ability to write the technical papers and reports and that's the particular one that we're interested in so we're particularly interested in writing reports for our projects uh, but you may have reports for other modules as well and it's a particular requirement of Engineers Ireland and lastly is the ability to defend a particular thesis before a panel of, exp uh, of peers this is really an interview process so you need to be able to communicate in an interview process, communicate uh, in a written way and other ways as well. And that's what we're interested in this particular uh, program. Uh, I'm going to show uh, a number of professional reports uh, which have common features and common to the standard we're looking for in our reports. We're looking particularly at the front page. Here's a one from the Philips company of the Netherlands. So the name is here and beside it here is their logo. Philips semiconductors are the particular division uh, associated with this particular report. The report title is given here and uh, reference to the date, October 1992. And here's a nice image of the particular product they're trying to, they're giving a report on. So that's fairly typical of a report. I'm going to look at another one. Here's a report uh, from the National Council for Educational Award, the NCEA. Again, their title is here and here's their logo. Common feature then, the name of the company and the logo associated with the company is in all reports. Uh, <coughs> the National Council for Educational Awards is, is spelled out here. And this particular report is on, on max and standards, examination max and standards. So the title of the report is given and here is the year in which it was relevant as well. So common elements here again. We'll look at one more report. So again, here's a Philips report here, the Philips name, their logo and it's from Philips Semiconductors. Common elements then, the uh, source of the report and uh, this particular report, Digital Media Broadcast, uh, and it's a designer's guide from July 1996. So the title of the report and the date on which it's relevant is given. And here are some nice images to make the report attractive. These are common features then we'll find in all report front pages. Here is a, a diagram showing the uh, approach we take to problem solving in this engineering program. It's an engineering problem solving approach and it's the approach we take to our projects, projects one, two and three and then the final year project A and B. So there's the introduction phase, investigation phase, implementation phase, a review phase and at the end is a report phase which we are particularly focusing on today. And that report may be a verbal report 
It may be a written report, it may be a demonstration, it could be an interview, it could be a presentation as well. All of these uh, types of approaches uh, to reports uh, are valid and uh, in, in particular we're interested today on looking at written reports and especially the front page for such a written report. That requirement and this, di this approach to problem solving is the one which Engineers Ireland require as part of their accreditation process for this particular Level 7 program. The Bachelor of Engineering program, the Bachelor of Engineering EES program, has a definition of how a report might be put together. Here is a list of headings which a report might have. The very front one here is the front page, and that's the one we're focusing on today. So going down through it, there's conclusions, there's references. Up here is technical description, and so on. But the front page one is the particular one we want to focus on today. So these lists of uh, headings are the typical headings which any report uh, for this particular program might include. These are the details which a report for this program uh, we would expect would include. So the first thing is the Institute logo, Dundalk Institute of Technology, the particular logo associated with the Institute. The program title, the program name, Bachelor of Engineering, Electrical and Electronic Systems. The year, the semester, and the academic year. So year two, semester four, 2011-2012. Uh, module name, in this case I have projects one, but it could be another module. The project title, in this case, uh, traffic lights controller, and your particular name, and the date the report was finalized or perhaps submitted. And finally, associated with the program is the program motto. So we would expect this range of information to be clearly demonstrated on the front uh, page. Now, we're also looking for a consistent style, a consistent house style, if you like, which includes consistent font type, size, and the layout of the front page. The particular layout and design may change, uh, but the front page must always contain the information listed here. Accuracy and simplicity of the front page design is important. In other words, uh, we have consistent style, we have a nice simple layout with no shortcuts or no slang words included. This is a template for the front page for reports under the uh, Bachelor of Engineering EES program. So, uh, as I mentioned earlier, the requirement for the uh, Institute logo, Dundalk Institute of Technology, is, has to be included. We would expect the motto for the particular program, Paul and Fjall and Fjunta, to be included. Likewise, the name of the program, the Bachelor of Engineering Electrical and Electronic Systems program, and its year and its semester. So it would be year one, semester one, 2011, two, uh, stroke 12, the academic year. So then the projects, the particular module is projects one, and the title of the report, the alarm system, the traffic light controller uh, system, your particular name, and the date. We would expect all of this information to be included on the front page. Now this template is one particular design which we recommend and it's available to you on Moodle. You can download it and update your information as projects uh, and your reports uh, uh, increase. But we could redesign this in another way. It's just one particular design which we recommend. Uh, here is a report front page which I've just completed with the information I mentioned. So you can download the template from Moodle and you need to put in the year, the particular year, the semester, and the academic year. Information about that should be on all your reports. Then the module, here I have projects one, the title, traffic lights controller, your name, and the date in this particular format here. So if you complete the front page in this fashion, we'll be quite happy. It has a consistent style. There's a nice balance to this design here. The difference in space between each of these is approximately the same and the page is relatively full. The uh, font size, the font type, is such that it can be easily written. You could perhaps underline uh, the title to highlight that, but other than that, this particular design for the front page is quite satisfactory. If we look at another front page of a type which perhaps has occasionally been submitted, here's most of the information is correct. The college logo, the program title, the year, 
the semester and the academic year, the particular module, but there's something different down with this information here. The font size has been reduced, it's not satisfactory font size, and I can tell you also that the font type is wrong. It's an aerial font type as distinct from the requirement up here for a Times New Roman, which is the recommended font style. So this information, this little bit, jars on the mind a little bit. So again, if we look at another uh, report which occasionally of a type I've seen previously. So here, most of the information is correct. This lot here stands out uh, and hits me in the eye immediately. So I can see here that the distance between traffic lights controller and Chris Ryan is not consistent with the remaining distance. It's not consistent style. Likewise, the traffic light controller, we would expect because it's a title that there would be capitals. So light L should be capital, C should be capital. So this distance here is also incorrect. When I look at the date, it's not in the correct format. It's in a shorthand format. I have to try and figure out what month 10 is. You have to tell me it's the 12th of October 2011. You have to write it in that format. Additionally, it's not center aligned. So the rest of the information is aligned in the center of the page. This is aligned to the left margin. So unsatisfactory uh, and two different styles of presentation on that one page here. Additionally, I see this information coming through here from the next page. Bachelor of Engineering, Electrical and Electronic Systems is the heading on the next page, and we need to insert the page break to bring that down into the next page. So uh, if we get a report of this type, the report may be rejected because the front page isn't satisfactory. So it's very important to get the standard and the presentation of front page satisfactory. If it's not satisfactory, it may lead to the report being entirely rejected and not being read. This is the first in a series of presentations about writing reports. So here we're talking about the front page, very important. The contents and how we assemble that information into a, a good quality engineering report. There are other elements of that which we'll come back to on a later date.